this right here is, is, is what you see when you first, first log in, right? So what I want you to really stay focused on, given your type of business, real estate agent, uh -huh. um, you're really going to need this for three main, main categories to the left. So three main tools is what we're here for really. And it's my communications. That's number one. So click on my communications. These are where you're, these are the three things that you'll ever really need to focus on. My communications is one of them. So in my communications, you're going to see a list of all your leads. Every lead that came in, you'll see a list of every, everyone here. But then if you click at the top, you click on list, you'll see each list right there at the top. Click on list at the top. So this is where you'll see each list, buyer's list, seller's list. You know, you'll start creating different lists. A list is where, an where, is where a lead lives. It's not, okay. it's not, this, it's not the, the email automation. It's not the email autoresponder or what Karcher calls the sequence. It's not the drip. It's not that. It's just a list. But you want to start putting everybody on a list for sure. That's how you segment and categorize your leads. They're on list. So list is where you'll spend some time. And then at the top, communications, hover over that in the middle, at the top, communications, and then go to sequences. Sequences, you're in broadcast, click on sequences. Sequences is what is the, is the automation. So the moment someone comes to your landing page, they, they see an ad, they click on the ad, they go to the landing page, they enter their name and email. That lead goes onto a list and a sequence. Right. So this is the sequence. This is where the this is where the lead in the sequence. This is where we'll set up emails, email number one, email number two, email number three. And we can schedule them to go out whenever we want. That's the email sequence. So the number one place you'll spend time is, is under my communications to the left, looking at your list and looking at your sequence at your sequences. And I'm going to help you build all this stuff out, man. So don't worry about learning everything now. So so number one is my communications. Number two is my pages. So to the left, click on my pages. This right here, I'm going to transfer an entire funnel over to you right now, and you're going to see it right here. You're going to see it in my pages. I'm going to transfer four pages over to you right now, and we'll start with one. We'll start with the seller guide. Since we're looking for listings, we'll start with the seller guide. I have an open house funnel for you. I have a listing funnel for you. I have all funnels for you, but we'll start with just the, the seller guide one, and you'll see it here once I transfer it. So you'll spend time in my communications, working on your list and your sequence. And then number two, you'll spend time in my pages maybe editing a page, maybe changing an image on a page, basic stuff. This is basic editing that you're going to need to do. Basic editing, because I already have the entire thing done for you. Um, and, and you'll see it here in a second. So you'll spend time maybe just basic editing. So number two, my pages. And then number three, my calendar. Those three, those three so to the left, my calendar. Those three tools, man, again, you normally have to pay for individually with three different companies. Here, that's the main reason why I use Kartra. Because of my communications, I need to, e to email automate my pages. I need to build landing pages. And then my calendar, since I'm in the business of appointments, I need people to be able to click and schedule a call, right? So it's those three main tools that make 100 bucks a month worth it for me. Um, and if I had someone like me to coach me and teach me for free, then it'd for sure be worth 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, man, that, that, that's awesome. I love right? it. That's what you have. You have me to leverage. I don't care if we need to talk every day. We'll schedule the call every day until you master this. So no, no, I'm, I'm a fast learner. I understand. Oh, yeah, for sure. So those are the three, three main tools, man. And then as you start to build agents, as you start to network out there with other, other agents, you can start referring Kartra as well. So the same way I refer it to you, I make about I, I make anywhere from anywhere, anywhere from 23 to 2500 a month on affiliate commissions from Karcher. That's oh, cool. wow. So they have that. Okay. Yes, man. Yes. And that's under my affiliate promos to the left. We'll get everything up and going first. We'll get you used to it first. And then you can start, you know, recommending. Yeah. It. I'm, I'm in our journey to pick up some listings. That's what I want. Oh, for to, sure. For yeah. Sure. yeah that's that's the here. first priority. So those are the three main tools on, on that objective. So the goal is to capture listing leads. Those are the three tools you're going to need. So what I'm going to do now is let me transfer over. So stop share. Okay, so over here, the good thing about, about Kartra is that anything I build, any funnel, any landing page, any email list or email sequence, a calendar, whatever, anything I build inside of Kartra, I can literally package it all up and give it to others. Or I could sell it. I mean, I can easily sell this entire funnel to anybody. But in, in this case, with my coaching clients or with people that just simply click on my, my Kartra link, 
I give them funnels. I just give it to them. So, so this is what I'm you're so do. awesome. You know how much money that people charge to make just oh, the freaking I funnel. I know, man. And that's why with you too, I know you've got a lot of other things going on and, and we're going to keep our focus on listing leads. But in the future, as you get good at this stuff, man, you could, you could, you could, you're going to be selling to their other agents. Hey, 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 John, I got a yeah, man. I got burned before on the funnels. I, you know, paid handsomely for the funnels, you know, and right. Yes. Yeah. Man. I mean, you know, and uh, and I was like, I learned, man, this is uh, this very unethical until I, when I discovered the click funnel myself, I said, you can do this thing yourself. Yes, man. Yes. It t- there's a learning curve like anything, but the you- culture is basic, man. I love it because it's so it's so simple to use. So here's the funnel. So, so what I'm saying is that I have all these funnels that I've already done. I packaged all them all up. I packaged it up, packaged it up. And now, now I'm going to give it to you. So we'll start with the seller guide funnel. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three dots. This is inside my Karcher account. Um, and then all I got to do is grab a share code just like click funnel you just do yep. that okay yep same thing so i can generate a share code so here's the share code for this funnel this code all i got to do is send it over to you and then you're going to be able to take that code so go ahead and let me stop share go ahead and, and share your screen let's go um let's go back to kartra so yeah share your screen grab that code in the chat and then um i'll show you where to where to where to put it okay so copy the code now what we're going to do is we're going to go on in your account and on the very, very left, we're going to click on my campaigns. So this is how you now. So I just gave you the code. Well, now you're going to import it on your end and you're going to have everything here in a second. So right here, my campaigns. And then now you're going to click on available campaigns at the top. Click on available. Cancel this one. Click on available campaigns because we're going to see what's available in here. Karcher has all these funnels that are already done for you. So that's another. Wow. Benefit. Yeah, man. All these, you read them, you can watch a video on them. You can click on any of them and watch the video. The video shows you exactly what's in it. It's uh-huh. like, it's insane, man. Like these are already done. Like this is how I learned. And this is how I start started. I leveraged what was already done. So, so now, since I gave you a code, you're going to click on the green uh, uh, square plus to the right. We're going to import. So you have a share code now. You're going to import it. So all you're going to do is paste it. Actually, that's not it. So go into the chat, in the Zoom chat, grab it there. You should see it. Um, actually, no, you can exit this one now, but go to the other Zoom window where you see the little menu bar. So there goes the share code. You click on next. And now what's going to happen is it's telling you here what's coming over. Four pages, a form, a sequence, and a list. Basic. That is your basic funnel. So whether you're, yeah, go ahead and begin import. That right there is the blueprint, man. And I'm going to show you right now. Close. Hit close at the top. Campaign successfully imported. So we close. And then now we click the three dots again. Go ahead and click the three dots again and click on deploy. So you imported it. Now we have to deploy it, which is really just finalizing the import, really. And now you'll see it in your account. Here, just put your initials. We're going to edit this part, but I don't know why it always asks for a prefix. So AS, that's fine. Import. Okay, so now here's what came over. As this loads here, um, we'll see to the left. Actually, we'll just go back to the left. Um, Okay, so X is part out. We're good. So now what came over? My communications a basic name of a list. That's all it is. So at the very top, click on list. So you're going to, we're going to focus on list and sequences. So what I, what I brought, what I included in the, in the funnel was just a simple list. That's where leads will land on. And you can always edit. So hit the pencil to the right. You can always rename it something different. So take away the AS and and you can even name it something different. Listing leads, Facebook leads, whatever. You can always name it different. The public description, that's what we see. The public description. Thank you for downloading. That public description is what anybody sees when they go and unsubscribe from anyone's list. Okay. So if you just if you go to your inbox right now and look at all these random email lists that you're on, unsubscribe and you'll see a little description reminding that lead what list they were even on. Right. Okay. And that's what that was. So so now you got list and then communication at the top, sequence. Remember, it's list and sequence. So communication at the top, sequence. So what came over was the actual sequence. Let, let's go into this sequence really, really quick. Click the pencil and we'll go into edit. So yeah, we'll take away that. We'll, we'll make sure we name everything. So again, the public description. Thank you for downloading my seller guide. 
That's a little description that the lead sees when they unsubscribe, if they ever unsubscribe from my list. They'll at least, you know, see a little description of what it was. Or, or start, that. Tutorial. start tutorial, go ahead and go through. Every time you come into the email builder or, or right, not or, and for the first time when you come into a landing page builder, you'll get this little tutorial. Um, and then you can always skip it at the end. You can always choose to not see it. But next time, do, do just do this for the for the sake of time. No, show again, show again, show one more time. Because when you go back in on your own time later, I want you to read everyone. Because that's okay. actually important. Okay, so here's the flow, man. Here's how it happens. They click on your ad. They go to your landing page. They enter their name and email to download your free seller guide. They're now on a list. They're now on a sequence. Immediately, when they click on send me my seller guide, immediately when they opt in, they're going to get the first one, your 2021 seller guide. But again, this is all text that we're going to spend. We're going to need to spend some time to edit. So I have the basic blueprint. Now, now as I teach you and, and really guide you on what to even how, how to how to how to make this flow, it will make a lot of sense that, that, that that's there for the example. And you will be able to edit that in the future. So immediately that first one can go out. And that's the first email. Hey, Dave, this is Assad. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. Again, thanks for thanks for thanks for job. Thanks for downloading it. Click here to download now. Right. That's the first email, like any welcome email that you get when you opt into something, right? You get a welcome email. That's the welcome email, the first one immediately that has the link to download. Two days later, two days later another email goes out. And this is where we're educating them. We just continue to nurture the lead. We now start to build a relationship. We now start to go to click on email content at the bottom to the very, very, actually you clicked on hit close real Yeah. See, so that's the basic. That's the basic. I want to go into the builder real quick. Hit, hit close, hit close and go back to that. But um, hit close, close. So what you're going to do, rather than clicking on it, which is what you did, you clicked on it. What you want to do is you want to click on the three dots. Click on the three dots, and then you go to edit. Three dots, edit. That's how you go into each email. Okay, so all we're doing is we're, we're going to continue hit edit the pencil to the right. So all we're doing here is nurturing the lead, man. It's basic. It's that simple. So again, they, they, they saw my ad. We caught their in interest on, on selling or at least learning what it takes to sell, right? They downloaded our seller guide and then boom, a couple of days later, they're going to get another email. And, and what I do, what I, what I would do is I would, let's say, for example, we have 10 emails set up. I recommend having a hundred, but that takes time in the beginning uh, just have a few, right? A few yeah. emails, mm -hmm. but in these emails, what I always recommend is base it on what they downloaded. So they, they downloaded a seller guide, for example. So these emails, I'm not talking about other random stuff. I'm going to keep the top, keep all the content on the same topic, which is selling. So all I'm doing in these in these future emails, email number two and on, for example, is I'm just continually educating them on the process of selling. And I'm referring back to my seller guide. Like, for example, email number three, email number three, any questions I can answer, right? Email number three, for example, that email would go out, let's just say six days later. In this email, I would be talking about maybe page five in the seller guide. Hey, Assad, this is Dave. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, I know a few days ago you downloaded my 2021 seller guide. Have you got to page four yet? On page four, I'm talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and the overall value that can bring your, to your property once you go to sell. Here's what I meant by it, Dave. And by the way, if you'd like to schedule a call, I'd love to talk to you. Click here to schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk, John. So all I'm doing in these emails is I'm continually educating them on that topic. I'm referring to the seller guide for, for, for basic cliff notes in the seller guide for, to, to make up maybe my email number four. And then in each email, I'm going for the appointment. Hey, Dave, and by the way, man, I'd love to talk to you. So if you have any questions regarding selling, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So there's always a call to action to get an appointment, to get that person to click and go to your calendar in each email. Really every other email, you don't want to shoot for an appointment on every freaking email because then you're going to you know, piss people off and they're going to think you're annoying. But maybe every other email, every other email, I'm going for the appointment. Maybe today's email, I'm just giving them basic ed educate, ed education. I'm, I'm just you know, showing them ba a basic tip on page four. You know, here's what I meant by it. Let me share my screen real quick. Let me show you some seller guides. 
because I have a ton of them, a ton of them that I that I can use that I can give you to use for examples. Um, let me know if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Uh, no, not yet. Go ahead and stop share. Okay, now I can. Okay, so in here, step by step on selling your home, seller secrets, um, home seller guide, home buyer guide. Are you ready to buy a house? I have so many different buyer and seller guides. Okay, so I have a ton of them that I can send you to get get ideas from, and 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 really to tell you the truth, it'll cost us. It'll cost us. It'll cost us maybe 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 twenty dollars, maybe twenty bucks, maybe twenty bucks the most. It'll cost us about twenty bucks to simply send this over to a designer and have them rebrand it to you. This is basic. Let me show you an example. So if I took this seller guide and then I sent it over to a designer, paid him 20 bucks or her, paid them 20 bucks to simply change the blue to red, change out the image of that house, and then maybe at the very, 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 very bottom, put my headshot versus um, whoever, because I think this is my friend, this is my client Gabriel's, I believe. Let me sh let me see. Does his, is his contact me? Um, where's his name? Where's his name? I could have swore this was my friend. Find a guy in Fiverr or something, right? Yes, bro. Twenty bucks, a guy on Fiverr. I would send him this PDF and say, "Hey, man, I need you to edit it. Put my contact information. Put my headshot. Maybe change out a couple of the images, and that's it." Uh, right. So this right here could be could be used. Um, for you. So I have a ton of them. I have a ton of different examples, but that's what, that's what would be. So let me, let me, let me stop share. Go back to your screen real quick. Okay. That would be email number one, right? Click here to download. Now that'd be email number one, but every email after that, man, I'm shooting for the appointment. I'm, I'm educating them a little bit more. I'm telling them what's on page four. Like maybe I'm on pay on email number seven at this point, And I'm referring to the, to the seller guide. Hey, John, have you got to page nine yet? Right. So I'm just these are this is make this is making up the basic the basic two to three sentences in my emails. OK. Right. So this part right here, a little upfront time, a little upfront effort. But this is one time. Once we set up these emails, they're automated. Now, all you do is focus on putting out content and focus on running ads and you focus on the top of the funnel because this back end, this is th this is where watch. So so, for example, let me. I don't mean to keep going back from screen to screen, but this is super important. Let me stop share. Okay. Let me, let me share my screen again. And this is what I, this is what I um, mentioned to you the, on our first call or a couple calls before, but let me, um, let me just bring it back. So let's say, for example, they see my ad, they see my ad on Facebook, they click, I'm promoting a free seller guide. I'm giving people free information. I'm giving them a free PDF, right? Educating on what it takes to sell. That's what I'm doing. They click, they come here, they enter their name and email right? 10 tips. And we can rename it. We can name it, whatever that this is 10 tips. We can do seven tips, whatever. It, this is just the basic blueprint. So, but, but this is all it takes. So they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips. The moment they come to the second page, which we're going to go back to your screen and I'm going to show you this page in your system. But the moment they come here, as I told you on our other call, this is our first opportunity for that appointment. So that person just downloaded, they just entered their name and email to download my seller guide. They're then coming to a second page where they're going to see me on video. So this is, okay. this is one homework assignment. So write this down because this is going to be your homework assignment. This is the video. This is where now, yes. we, now, now we're going to get our hands dirty here. Okay. Okay. This is a simple video shot from your cell phone at home or outside, whatever, simple, a simple 30 second video that goes on your thank you page. Okay. So as, as, as excited as we are to start running ads and as anxious as we are, this part needs to be done first because the moment that ad goes out and they click and they enter their name and email and they come to this second page, this is our first opportunity to get that appointment. So here's what we're yeah. saying. Here's four basic bullet points on this video. Number one, I'm thanking them and I'm gonna role play this for you as well. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And then number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. Okay, here's how this 30 second video is, is, is done. It's very, very simple. Boom, they land here. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2022 seller guide. My name is Asad. I am with XX Realty. Let me introduce myself and tell you why I'm so excited for you guys to be here. Right. So number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm saying, hey, and check your email because I just sent it over to you. The title of the email is your free seller guide. You know, check spam, you know, check around the inbox because it should be there here in the next five seconds. And also be on the lookout for my future emails because I have a ton of great content coming your way. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell in today's market. So don't miss an email. Make sure you check your email. And then number four, hey, guys, and also, by the way, I know a ton of people that are landing here and downloading my seller guide are, 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 are interested. I know they have questions. I know they're just open-minded to, to know what's going on when it comes to the market and what, what, what people do to sell. If you guys are looking for answers now, click the button below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So number four, I'm going for the appointment. Number four, I'm saying, hey, guys, and by the way, man, I'd love to talk to you. So if you have questions, you know, click the button below. You can schedule your best time. Oh, those are the four bullet points. So here's my point. Go back to your screen. Go back to your screen. Share screen. So that thank you page is the first opportunity that I have to get them to schedule a call. Now, out of, out of every 10 people that land there, basic basic numbers and these are these are good numbers basic low numbers but they're good numbers out of every 10 people that land there two of them schedule a call eight of them don't even if i had one even if i had 10 percent or one percent whatever it is even if i had one out of ten one out of ten that actually scheduled a call i would take those numbers all day let's say i have two out of ten two out of ten schedule a call right there on the thank you page but the other eight don't the other eight those who make up these emails. So the other eight, those are going to start those, those leads. Everyone gets email number one, scroll back up. Every lead that comes in all 10, they get the one that goes out immediately, right? Because okay. that has the link to download. So everyone gets that, that email, but two days later, two days later, the system is going to check if they scheduled an appointment. Two days later, the system is going to check the two out of eight or the two out of 10, right? So the eight that did not schedule a call uh, two days ago, for example, that landed on the thank you page, the other eight will start to receive these emails. Email number two, real estate 101, for example, right? Any questions I can answer. So the other eight who did not schedule a call, that's why Kartra, the automations are so, so powerful because we're going to be able to tell Kartra, hey, if this person has not scheduled a call, make sure they get the next email and so on and so on and so on and so on. So as the emails go down, the emails are only going to be going out automated to those who have not scheduled a call, right? So, so, so this email series, man, there's only a few here. Watch, scroll down. How many? There's three there. How many are below it? Another three. I think there's like seven emails here. So six, seven emails. Mm -hmm. So I always recommend, yeah, let's start with these basic ones. We'll go in and we'll edit. We won't do this here this second. We'll get back to this part, but I'm just showing you how powerful this part is. This is the, the now our first opportunity for the appointment was the thank you page. Our second opportunity for the appointment is here. It's emails. Yes. It's that's simple. awesome, so that's man. Why... It's pretty simple. I, I love the fact it's all in, uh, in one, not like click yes, one man. on that. It's yeah. so powerful. But the automations, once we start tagging leads based on their actions, that's powerful, man. The automations. So here, we, we, you can set all these up, e emails up eventually as we go in, as we go into these next calls, we'll work on these emails, but eventually you want to keep adding to these emails, man. If there's six or seven there, here's what I always recommend. And here's what I do do in my own business. I'll spend maybe an hour a week. And this is later on as you start to learn the Kartra platform, I'll spend about an hour a week and I'll add four more emails to the list. So every week I'm just, I'm going to the bottom, watch, go to the very, very bottom. So there's three emails here. There's four what do you got? Five? How many? There's like six, whatever. I would add another email. So every, every, once a week, I'll spend maybe one hour and I'll just send, I'll add email, add email. I'll add another four to five emails to the bottom. So boom, now there goes 12. Next week, do the same thing. Now I got 17 emails ready to go. Next week, I'll do the same thing, get it to 25 emails. There's some sequences that I have that have over 70 emails in the sequence. So that person, I don't have to worry about that lead for a very long time. As long as I'm running ads and getting people to opt in 
And as long as each email is fully optimized, meaning it has my social media links, it has my contact information, but most importantly, it has my calendar link. As long as each email is optimized, I don't have to worry about that lead for a long, long time. And you'll notice, you'll experience this on my end with my daytime business. You'll experience it because now you're a couple different type of leads to me. You're not only a coaching client, but you're also a Kartra. Now you're, now you're an actual Kartra user. So anyone uh, that clicks on my link inside of Kartra, again, my financial interest is that reoccurring monthly commission that Kartra pays me. So I need you to be successful, right? That's the only way Assad's going to keep the damn thing is if he's successful, <laughs> with it, right? Yeah. So I am, I have a vested interest. So, so, so as Assad becomes a Kartra user, and now he's part of my affiliate program, he's on my specific affiliate sequence. So uh, you're going to start seeing emails that come from me. I have one every other day, every three days, and I have like 70 in them because the culture to me is so important because I want you to succeed and keep it forever, right? That's my money, right? So uh, that is a sequence that I really, really try to really take care of. So, th- so open up every email that I send you because you're already in a system, you're already in my sequence and you're going to start to get culture emails on my behalf, teaching you different things about culture, right? So now that I have a sod in the system, I don't have to worry about him for a long ass time because if he needs me, he's getting my emails. There's a link to my calendar. There's all my links to social media, right? So we're connected and I'm able to build this relationship with him on the back end automated without my effort, right? Yes, I have to add to the emails there every week. And that's what I do. I enjoy doing it because now I have 70 plus emails on the damn thing, all because I'm just adding a few more every week and it's taking me an hour. You know what I mean? So where do you get the content for the email? Like the ones I add the uh, seller one? Good question. You know? Good question. In the very beginning, go back all the way up. In the very, very beginning, I'm trying to continually educate them on what they downloaded. They just downloaded my seller guide. So for maybe the first five, six, seven emails, we're talking about the seller guide. I'm guiding them through the seller guide, uh-huh. right? I'm, I'm teaching them different, like, like again, the seller guide that I have, the table of contents, there's so many different things. So it's like, I'm teaching them different parts about that and, and trying to really bring value and trying to really bring content to get that person to fall in love with me. Okay. So, so I might be continually talking about the seller guide in the first few emails, and then I'll bring them over to my Facebook. Hey, John, are you on Facebook? Hey man, I'd love to, I'd love to connect with you. Click here to request me as a friend or click here to follow my business page. Hey, John, are you on YouTube? Hey man, I just put out a video regarding what it takes to sell. Click here to watch it now. And now that might be email number 17. Man, that's so awesome. Right? So I'm, so me personally, I'm leading them to Kartra, to using Kartra for their business, or I'm leading a person to my Facebook business page, or nine out of 10 times, I'm trying to lead someone to my YouTube video because I'm building a YouTube channel, right? So that's why a lot of the emails that you're going to start to get to get from me on one specific list, which is my Kartra affiliates, I'm trying to take care of you and teach you Kartra. That one list, again, over 70 plus emails. And a lot of those emails are leading you to my YouTube. A lot of those are, hey, Assad, this is David. Hey, man, a lot of people want to know how to put together a calendar, a Kartra calendar. Click here to watch my tutorial video. I just shot one a couple of days ago. Click here to watch it now. And then boom, I'm having you click and you're going to my YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's awesome, man. So, so, so. That's where you're just leading, leading the lead to certain different, leading them certain places and, and, and staying connected with them at the same time. So hit done and exit, hit done and exit, hit done and exit. That's the sequence, which we'll work on. Click on pages, my pages to the left. Now we have these four pages. We have the opt-in page. We have the thank you page. We have the call confirm page. If I go to your calendar and I put Tuesday at 4 PM, I click schedule. Now that lead lands on a call confirm page go back to my pages that lead would land on a call confirm page so that's the call (laughs) confirm page there and 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 there's a there's a lot of reasons why that page is so important it there's always a confirmation page when you purchase something online there's always a confirmation page when you opt into something there's always a confirmation page when you schedule an appointment right a confirmation page that's what you use to track especially track your ads so we'll get back into that but those are the four pages, man. Those are four basic pages. The email sequence, you'll worry about that page email sequence. You can do that later, later, later on. But, but as I'm saying with my sequences, certain sequences that I have, I'm trying to lead you to a video. And so 
that's what that is. So in my emails, I might be on email number 27. Hey, Assad, this is David. Hey, man, I'm getting a lot of people hit me up on, on learning how to set up their email autoresponder in Kartra. I did a video on my YouTube channel. Click here to watch it now. And that email is, let's say, for example, email number 17. As that person clicks, they end up going to that page. Click, hover over that page, the email sequence. Hover over that and click it to the right, the actual page, email sequence one. Okay. Up, up email sequence, right there. The eyeball. Yeah, click on that. This okay. right here, this right here, it looks like a landing page. And it is. It could be for sure. But this is a, a basic page that I use a lot in my emails. Okay. So as that lead opens up my email, they click. They end up going straight to the page where they can, where they can watch a video and schedule a call. Okay. And that could be email number 29. That could be email number 31, whatever. But, but that's later on. We'll do that later on. And, and this is just where it's me on video. I might take them to a video, right? That's just video. Yeah. But really in your case, man, opt-in page, thank you page, call confirm page. Those are the three basic pages, man. And that could be for a listing. That could be for a buyer, a buyer guide, a seller guide. Those are the three basic pages, man. Or really it's two, opt-in and thank you. Those are, and the call confirm, that's separate. That's for appointments, but it's, it's majorly important, but it's really the opt-in and thank you. With those two pages, you can do anything, man. Your alarm business, you can capture listing leads. Those two pages, opt-in, thank you. That's it. That's all there is uh, to online marketing, bro, is those two basic pages. And then getting that lead on a list and then building a relationship with them through your list and then providing a link where they can always jump on a calendar and schedule a time to talk, uh, a, a time to talk with you, right? So, so that's, that's the pages. And then my calendars, my calendars, my calendars to the left. This is what did not come over, but you can create a, a calendar from scratch. It's so, so powerful and so simple, but you just click the green. So it's really my communications, my pages, and my calendars, man. That's where you'll spend the majority of your time. Okay. okay. So, so, so you registered for Thursday's call. What's today? Today's Monday. Go back in and register for, for Tuesday's call or in, unless, unless the schedule doesn't allow your, it doesn't. Yeah. You know, if it, if, if your schedule Thursday, doesn't, doesn't Thursday, Thursday, Thursday's, Thursday's perfect. Fine. jump on Thursday's call for sure, man, jump on Thursday's call for sure. And just be a sponge, be a sponge. And, okay. and, and again, it's live customer service, not live with the people on. It's just the customer service. They're live. They're on video. You can see them in real time and ask, and ask questions. Hey, hey, can you show us an example of how to set, to set up a calendar? Hey, can you show us an example of a thank you page? Right. And they'll come in here on screen share and show everybody. So that's why just jumping on you with even with no questions, you'll learn from everybody else's questions. And you and before you know it, this thing will be simple. So so now that we have everything in place, here's what's here's what's needed. So cancel out this. Now that we have that in place, here's here's the basic homework for our next call. We need a domain. We need a domain. So whatever domain you want to use for these pages, that's what we're going to need is, is a dot com. So do you have a dot com now or do you not have a dot com? I have uh, quite a few dot coms I'm not Perfect. using. So Perfect. pick so, one that we can use for, for your seller guide campaign. That's what this is really for. So if it's anything, you know, somewhat close to, to, to what the objective is seller, seller leads, then for sure you can use that dot com. Right. Like, like I have a lot of clients that will go out there and get David seller com, Right. Or something like that. Um, but if you have a, a, a general, like, what are you thinking? What names do you have? uh not anything close to that so i guess if I'm it's something way on. off then maybe you might consider getting another domain just to somewhat match it but it doesn't have to be identically matched it could be like your name you can have your name asad.com and and boom it takes people to your seller guide funnel no big deal but it's only when it's something completely different like if it's like asad's auto auto body store and then boom, you know, they're going to a damn seller guide funnel. That wouldn't make sense, right? So as long as it's something that's somewhat related, you know, then, then we can use it for sure. But that would be the domain for, for this. It'd be the domain for your calendar. It'd be the domain for your pages. It would also be the domain for your email. As we go into my communications and we set up the sequence, we set up the emails. These emails need to come from your.com. They need to come from uh, Assad at homes home hubs texas.com or whatever like it needs to come from your actual email it can't be a gmail can't be a yahoo so so your homework your homework is to is to is to figure out what domain we're going to need we're going to use 
because again, that, that domain is not only required for, for Kartra, but it's also required for Facebook. So as we dive back into Facebook and go through the ads manager, we need a domain. We need to integrate it with Kartra. I mean, with Facebook, Facebook's going to give us a piece of code that we enter into GoDaddy. It's, where are your domains from? Do you get them? Yeah, go, go, go Daddy. Perfect, perfect. So GoDaddy is what we need for integration for Kartra and for Facebook. So homework assignment number one, man, is, is, is find out what domain we're going we're gonna to need or we're going to use, I mean, we'll find out what domain and then, and then work on a thank you video. Work on a thank you video. Now, okay. yeah, so my page is to the left. That's for the thank you page. So pull out your phone and, 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 and I'm telling you, it does click on my pages to the left. This does not need to be perfect. You don't need to sound like a, 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 an award-winning, you know, actor. No, none of that. Click on my pages to the left. Okay. So, so again, this is just, and this is, and, and to tell you the truth, and this is for the thank you page. So if you hover over the thank you page, this is for the thank you page. Click on the thank you page. So this is optional. This is totally optional, but you can be the judge of it. A person, if you opted into something and you landed on a thank you page and you saw that person's video on video versus if you landed there and you just saw a generic picture, how would you take it at? What would be your perception as, as, a, as a consumer? A video establish the trust. For sure, right? So it's up to you. It's up to you. I totally recommend video. I have a ton of these basic funnels for my own business where I'm on video on that next page. Hey guys, this is David. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my Facebook ad cheat sheet. In this cheat sheet, you're going to learn this, 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 and this. Check your email. I just sent it over to you. It's titled this, right? Make sure you check your spam. Sometimes it lands there. And by the way, man, if you guys like to jump on a strategy call, I'd love to talk to you. So if you're new to Facebook ads, if you're new to landing pages, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. I can say this shit in my sleep, man. Wow, man! You know I, mean? I mean, I mean, I love, I love the passion. I love like because oh, it's you so basic. Everything. It's so basic, bro, and it's effective, right? So this part totally up to you. But your second homework assignment would be to just do a simple video, man. Thirty seconds. Talk on those four bullet yeah, points. Yeah, just like thank you, thank you, thank yes, you. Man. Thanks for, yeah, thank you and, for yeah, uh, and downloading. Yeah, yes. downloading. My name is Asada. I'm with All City Real Estate, and and. Uh, uh, Let me tell you a little bit of background about me uh, uh, and, and where I'm coming from and why I'm so excited to help people, because we're going to be running ads to a very local market. So talk to that market. Anyone that lands here is someone that lives next door. Literally, uh, literally, bro. Literally. Uh, right? so that's why this is this is what I call a money page. This money is page. our money page. So right? record the video and send it to you. So you're going to approve it. And yeah, and then we're going to uh, put it there. Anything you do, I'm going to approve anything because I know you're not going to sound like a fool. You're going to, you're going to sound like you, you're yeah. going to sound like the authentic Assad and that's what it takes, bro. So it doesn't take anything professional at all, at all, at all, at all. Ha have your kid hold the camera, have your wife hold the camera, put the camera up against the wall, whatever. It doesn't matter. Go outside and walk around, go to a neighborhood and just walk around. Hey guys. Thank you, th thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2022 seller guide. I am so fired up for you guys to be here. Let me tell you what you're gonna learn in it and why you're gonna wanna, wanna why you're gonna wanna read it fast. Why you're gonna wanna read it right away, right? I'm just thanking them. Again, I'm introducing myself, check your email, schedule a call. That's it. And then, and then once that basic stuff is done, the domain and the video, that's when we'll jump on our next call. And, and, then, and then we'll be able to knock those two out and then get into the, get into the ads manager but what we want to do also is do some basic editing here. Change out the logo. Maybe change out the image in the background. I don't know. Maybe change out the yellow to red. Who knows? Like, right? Like basic editing is what we want to do um, after we get the domain and, and this video in place. Okay. And then, and then once we get the basic editing done, work on some emails and then boom, and then we can launch. That's it. There's a ton of stuff that we have to do with these pages in Facebook, which is what we'll do. We'll do that too, too as, well, as, as well once we get into the Facebook, once we go back to Facebook. But these pages will be necessary for custom audiences and custom conversions. That's what we have to set up before we even run an ad. So we'll do that in Facebook. But get the domain, bro. The domain's the most important right now, really, the domain. And then, and then work on the, thank you, on the thank you video. And then what I'll do is... I, gonna... I, have, I have a domain. Let me see if I can. It's called TexasSierraHomes.com. Oh, I love it. I love it. We can use that one. So right now, let's X this out. Let's integrate this domain real quick. Uh, so 
open up, open up another tab and let's go to GoDaddy. So let's log into GoDaddy. We're, we're going to have a GoDaddy tab open and then we're going to go into, um, we're going to go into Kartra and we're going to go into, into the Facebook um, business settings. Okay, cool. So we have here, let's go to your domains. Let's go to that actual um, domain and then we'll just, we'll, we'll come back to it. Bottom. So we'll scroll to, scroll to the very bottom and click on manage DNS. So here we're going to integrate the domain to Kartra and we're going to integrate the domain to Facebook. Where, where, where is that? Manage DNS, a little higher right there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So leave that here. Let's come back to it. Let's go to, let's go to, um, we'll do, the, we'll do Kartra first. Let's do Kartra first. So let's start with um, um, the top right. Let's click on your profile picture and let's go to custom domains. Right, right at the top, actually go back up, go back up, click on your profile picture and you're gonna to go to custom domains. Actually, no, not that one, to the very top right, the same one you clicked on, to just top right, to the very right. Yeah, your profile drop down. Yeah, and we'll change out that image too, but go to custom domains. Okay, cool. So over here, we're gonna click on the green one, click on the green plus over there and we're gonna type in only the main domain. We're gonna type it in there, not no www, just the domain. So let's take away the www. Just put in, um, does that go away? Oh, no, you're good. Perfect. And then later on, you can always add a favicon. So that little logo, that K, you can change that out and put a house or put something different. If you have one now, you can do that now. But you can always do that for sure. And then click on next. Okay, and then here are some basic instructions. So before we continue, we're going to go to number two. So number two, point your CNAME record to Kartra. So highlight the bold. You see texashomeshub.kartra.com. Just get that .com. Get the domain. Just get that. Copy that whole bold. Hi, or yeah, copy it. Texas Homes Hub, number two. Texashomeshub.kartra.com. Copy that. We're going to copy that and bring it to go to, let, let's bring it to GoDaddy. So the tab that's open at the top. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to scroll down and we're going to go back up. You went too fast. Go back up. This third one, the records, the type, the third one, C name. Edit that one to the very, very right. Hit the little square of the pencil. Perfect. And then you're going to, you're going to, you're going to leave the www, leave that there. Take away the at sign, points to take away the at sign and paste in that link. Okay, perfect. And then save. Okay, good. Okay, so now scroll down. And go to the forwarding. So right here to the bottom right, forwarding. Take away that domain that's in there. Yeah, take away this one. We're going to put in a, a different one. But yeah, take that one out. And then just um, just hit or put, um, do you, you could put, or you could just trash it actually. Yeah, just trash it. There you go. Perfect. And then just save. Delete. And then we'll just save. All right, we're good. Okay, perfect. So there's the, there's the, 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 the Kartra. Scroll down a little further. Oh, yeah, it, it show our domain, no? Okay. No, that's fine. Scroll down. Okay, perfect. So no forwarding. Okay, good. So go back to Kartra. And now what we're going to do is we're going to simply click on yes at the bottom. Yes. And then hit next. And then over here for now, um, the, the, um, the external, we're going to hit that drop down on the index and the 404. So the external, click on Kartra pages. We're going to do the same thing for the bottom one. Select site, no site. And then Kartra page. Just do the, do the opt-in. Do the opt-in. And then, um, and then do the same thing for the bottom. So do it again, external. And all this is, is if that domain, your domain. Opt in. Yeah, opt-in. Next, your domain is registered through GoDaddy and you have to renew it every year. If, if a person does not renew it and it expires and, and, and traffic are, is still going to that link, Kartra will simply forward it to your opt-in. That's what that was. Oh, I already had the auto renewal on. Startup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, speaking in general, if a person didn't and something happened to that domain, so hit close. Okay, so now you're good over here. Now let's take that domain and integrate it with Facebook. So scroll, scroll, um, scroll up real quick, open up another tab. So let's leave it there. Let's open up another tab and let's go to um, Facebook. Let's go to um, our business settings. Over here in the ads manager, click on the three lines at the top the three lines and then go to business settings where um in the the top the top left the three lines yeah click on that and then go to business settings so here what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the domain with facebook facebook also wants to know where the ads are where, where the ads are going 
So on the very, very left, and, and, and by the way, you always want to make, make sure you're in the right account. Is this the right account to the top left? Yeah, That's this is back the, office. Yeah. yeah. You have other accounts on the top left and the drop down in the top left, right? Mm -hmm. You have other accounts up there, but is this the right one? This one, yeah, this is the ad account. No, top yeah. left, top left, top left. So in that drop down, you have other accounts, right? You have your account and then you have this business one. So everything is ran out of this business one from this point on, right? Yeah. So everything is coming out of this account, Assad's back office, not your other account. It, everything's out of here. So now what we want to do to the very, very left, we want to click on brand safety. Brand safety, this is super, super required. Without this, your ads won't get traction at all. You want to integrate the domain. So go ahead and click there. And then we're going to come over here, click on blue one, add. We're going to type in no www, just the domain. No, not that one. You want the actual domain. So um, just type it in there. Perfect. That's I the actual that's domain. Order. Yeah, I think that's order. Hold on. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So that's what we want right there. And then, um, yeah, let's paste it in right there and we'll click on add. And this takes, sometimes this takes a, a, a few minutes to update, but sometimes it's, it's right away. So click on the drop down. yeah, click on the drop down right there at nope, 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 up the drop down, click on the drop down and go down to DNS. Yeah. Click on that one. Okay. So now what we want to do, wait, wait, wait. Now what we want to do is, is, is follow instructions. Step two. So that bold hover over the Facebook domain. Yeah. Click, just go ahead and click. No, no, no. You don't got to highlight it. Just click it. Just hover over it and click. Perfect. It's copied. Okay. So now go back to GoDaddy and we're going to simply add a text record. So you're going to, you're going to go back up to the top and you're going to click on add, go back up to the top, click on add right there in blue to the bottom, right? Bottom, right? So add right here. And then you're going to do it txt the host is the is the at sign no 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 the host is the at sign so do the do the at sign the shift to at and then the txt value paste in that link okay so now click on click on save okay cool perfect okay now refresh this page refresh this this dome this godaddy page yeah reload okay cool so now go back to facebook and sometimes it takes a few minutes, but sometimes it's instantly. Go ahead and verify. Do it again. Verify. Click it. Click it seven more times. Just keep going. Perfect. So it didn't happen the first time, but it happened like six the sixth time. So sometimes that's like a little hack. You All could right. have, you could have easily came back thirty minutes later, but <laughs> just push it through. It goes through. So now you're good. Now you're good. So now click on Add Assets right there in the middle. Add Assets to the right. No, 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 no. Not this one. Click on um, to the right, right below verified, right below verified, the word verified green in green, add assets. Little above, yeah, right there, add assets. And so here we're gonna simply go to go to classic pages and then go ahead and add it to this page here. So we're integrating everything. Facebook wants to know what it what's connected, right? It's a puzzle. All we're doing is connecting everything as we move forward from this point on. So add. click on add, and that's the domain. So we're now, we're now. Verify through Facebook. Now let's go back to Kartra and let's just see if it updated in Kartra. So go ahead and refresh this page. Yeah, we'll reload. Okay, so it's still it's still processing. It'll take, um, yeah, it'll it might take a few more minutes. But once it does process, it'll then say connected. And I don't know if you caught the notification a few minutes ago when you got to this part, but it said it could take up to a day or something like that. But no, it's normally just a few minutes. But as, as it goes from processing, it'll then say in green, it'll say connected. And once it's connected, now you can add it to your pages. So for example, click on my pages to the left, and then we'll, we'll end it right here. Click on my pages. So, so once that domain is verified, give it, give it maybe, maybe, maybe 20 minutes, come back in later on and, and then check. And the way you're going to check is you're going to click on any page. You're going to click on the three dots, click on, click on the three dots, do the opt-in page, do the opt-in page or any, whatever, click on the three dots and click on get code or link, the top one, get code or link. And, and so hit close real quick. Let's do that one more time. Click on close, click on the three dots. So look, as you click on the three dots of any page, wait, 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 go back real quick, close, do it again. Don't click on anything, just the three dots. As you go into any page, these are your settings, right? So I can get the code or link, which means I can get my link to my damn page. That's what that is. And I'm gonna we're gonna click on that again. 
I can unpublish the page. So if it's, if it's published, that means it's live. The internet can see it. I can unpublish it, which takes it down. And then I can edit. So I can, when I click on edit, that takes me into the actual builder where I can now play around and change things. The pages are already done for you, bro. So if anything, you can change the headline. If anything, you could change the yellow, or, yeah, change the color. If anything, you can change the image in the background for sure. You can change the image in the background and then you can change any links, you know, on the bottom. But as far as the, the aesthetics of it, it's good to go. So, so, so I can then, once I complete a funnel, for example, or a page, I can then clone it. I can duplicate it. So there's my seller guide funnel. I can then clone it and make a buyer guide funnel. I can clone it and do a listing funnel, right? I already have all those done for you, but I'm just saying you can easily, wow. you, can easily you can easily click clone and now it's a whole nother damn funnel. Same thing, duplicate it. I just now go into the second, I go, to, I go into the clone version and I edit that one. Right. I, I could do one red, one blue, whatever, man. I could, it's so basic. It's so simple. You're going to love it. But, but editing allows me to go in and just start playing around with different things. Um, but my point is, is that get coder link, click on get coder link. Once that domain goes active in the next, give it, give it 20 minutes, get coder link. You're going to come in and the way you're going to check is you're going to get the page link, go ahead and click on get the page link and then click on the pencil to oh, the bottom, right? That's yeah. your, that's your generic link. But if you click the pencil to the right and then and then hit the drop down, so your link to the left, hit the drop down. Bam, it's connected already. All Ooh. right, bro. You, see, it didn't take 20 minutes. Normally it happens right away, but but I always give it a few minutes. So now look, look, this is the actually no, let's close it. Let's close it because I don't remember what page this was. Focus on the opt-in. We want the opt-in and the thank you. Opt-in and the thank you. Okay, so so choose either one. Click on the dots, get Which one, okay, opt-in. Those are the two we want to focus on. So get coder link. So now we're going to change out each page. Each page is going to be around that domain. So click on the pencil. So you'll always do this for all your pages. Change out the name. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Do it again. Hit the pencil. Look, you have the domain now. Get creative with the back part. Take away that NUJ649. Name it something sexy. You know what I mean? Like, like to tell you the truth, this is the opt-in. So really it's going to be, it's going to be Texas texashomes.com forward slash seller guide or forward okay. slash forward slash download now or something like that. You know what I mean? Forward slash. Yeah. So, so now this becomes the link. This becomes the link. Download. I cannot do the space. No, you no space. It's all one word. It's all lowercase. This is your new domain, but what we're going to do real quick. And this is where we'll end it. Okay. What we're going to do real quick. Yeah. Hit the check mark. That's it. Just check it. That's your new domain. So highlight it, highlight it, go ahead and copy it, copy it. No, 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 no. Just copy it. Okay. No, you don't have to hit that. Just, yeah, boom. Copy, open it up in a new page, in a new tab. Actually, I think you got to publish it live first. I don't think it's live. Do it, go ahead and open it up. Try to open it up. No, go ahead and go back. Yeah. Go to your free seller guide. Go to that tab that's already open. You already have it open. Bam, it is live. So look, now as you go in and edit, you click the three dots, click on edit, and then you come into the builder. This is what I'm saying. You can change out the basic stuff. You know what I mean? You'll highlight it, you'll highlight it and, then, and then you can change it out. But right now, get the page link. Get this link real quick. Actually, you already have it. Actually, which one is this? Is this a thank you page? And know what page you're in. What page is this? Oh, this is the thank you one. Okay, perfect. Thank you for downloading my seller guide. Or thank you for downloading your seller guide. Or thank you. Perfect. Okay. So now look, here's what's going on. Don't move. Don't, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Here's what's going on. You just changed out the domain. Now that domain, that's your freaking domain, right? So now we give that domain to Facebook. Now it's registered through Facebook. And now Facebook starts to track who's landing on these domains. Should I change the AS part of it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll want to go in there later on and edit. But, okay. but that's, that's what I wanted to show you real quick right now. The next step, yeah. again, I don't want to move too, too fast. Because we got no, no, to I'm get catching, I'm this catching. done real quick. The domain is now is now good to go. What you want to focus on is that thank you video, that thank you video for the thank you page. Focus on a simple 30 second thank you video. And then also read that, read that message that I sent to you on Facebook. Watch okay. that video because that's how you get your, your seller guide complete. That's what's next. So we can't keep, we can't start running ads unless we have some, something to give them. You know what I mean? So we got to get this seller guide, this seller guide. See if you can- So we, we took the domain thing off. So all you want to do is uh, just make a video left, right? A video for the thank you page 
and then and then and then and then watch that video in your Facebook message. That's it. That's going to teach you how to get your seller guide. That's okay, where so, we're at right now. So once once that done, we are ready for the first ad. Yes, man. Yes. Well, we got to do some basic editing on these pages. We got to go in and change up some basic links. But that 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 that's one call right there. And then we'd be ready to set up the ads. We okay. got to take these pages and register register each one with Facebook. Each page is a is a custom audience inside of Facebook. So as you start to run ads, people click on it. They go to your opt in page. Some are going to opt in. Some are not. The people that don't opt in, we track the visit in Facebook. It's a custom audience, okay. right? So we got to set up all these basics first, and then we can run an ad. I'm thinking about running an ad maybe on our third call. So next, next we got to um, we got to we got to set up your calendar. That's the third one. So you have my communications to the left, you have my pages, and then you have my calendars. Click on my calendars. That needs to be set up as well. So this calendar needs to be set up. Your seller guide needs to be done. And then, and then maybe a handful of the emails in the email sequence need to be edited. That's it. And then, and then, and then we need to take these four pages or really the two pages, the thank you page and the opt-in page, and even the call confirm page for sure. And we got to set up custom audiences in Facebook. So we can, so Facebook can start tracking who's landing on the thank you page. Why is that so important? Now you have a link, click on the three, three dots, get coder link. Now you have a link. In fact, let's do it real quick right now. Get the link for the thank you page, for the thank you. No, get click the three dots. Because I'm telling you, man, I could take one call and turn it into 10 calls or 10 hours in one time, but I don't want to overwhelm you. No, no, that's fine. I don't no, want to no, I'm, 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 No, I'm, bro, I'm catching it. I, I done click funnel. So, I mean, this is kind of. Uh, so this is your thank you page. Click on cancel. We don't want to go into it right now. We want to just get the, click the three dots on the thank you page. Click the three dots and get code or link. Just get the coder link. Okay, copy this, get the page link, copy this link. And you just you don't need the www. Just copy everything except for the www. Yeah, all the, from the Texas on. Not the dot, make sure you don't have a dot there. The T all the way to the right. Oh, no, no I got it, I got it. Yeah, just copy that. What, we're, what we need to do with all the other pages, this page, we'll do it real quick right now. But this is a whole nother call. Um, because we, what we want to do is set up custom audiences around these important pages before you start running ads. Okay. So so that way you can start tracking from day one where your dollar's going, right? Who's landing on this page? Who's landing on that page? So hit close. So you copy that. Let's go to Facebook, the tab that's open to the left. Let's click on the three lines at the top and let's go to audiences. So this is one super important audience. At the very top, click on the three lines, go to audiences. No, the three lines at the top. It's always about these three lines. This is how you navigate through the whole platform. Okay. The three right. lines. Click on audiences. And then what we'll do here real quick is set up a Where's custom audience. audience. At? Right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. So this is this is the audience around what? Around the thank you page? Is that the link you grabbed? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hit the blue button, create audience. And then go custom audience. And then go website. Let's go website, and then we're going to hit next. And then over here, we're going to hit the drop down. All website visitors. Actually, yeah, is that the – your pixel needs to be on the page. That's a whole nother call as well is your pixel. But is it that green one that's – is it that yeah, one? the green one, yeah. I think so. See, that's why it's so important to name everything the same. Your ad account, your pixel, your business so green, manager. Green means that's the one active, right? Well, yeah, that's active, but we'll double check and we'll do this on our on our next call. We'll double okay, check. That uh, okay, let's leave it the green. But button. for now, for now, that's fine. Leave it there. That's for now for this example. Leave it there. The events, all website visitors, change out that one. So up, 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 all website visitors go to specific. We want an audience of specific, specific people. Okay, so now scroll down. And and thirty, go ahead and, and let's see. You're in the business of 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 eight of 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 listings and homeowners. Go to go to ninety days. Go to ninety days. Change that to ninety days, and then paste in your link. And let's name this audience. Actually, you know what? This is this is your thank you page. No, this is gonna go change the the ninety. Change it to one eighty. Then because you want you want Facebook to retrack and you want Facebook to, to keep in this audience people who have landed there within the past 180 days. You really want it for life, but 180 is the max. This one is going to be called seller, seller guide leads. 
seller guide leads. No, take away that seller guide leads. The audience name is seller guide leads or listing leads, either one, but it's really seller guide. It's really seller guide because these are people who have clicked on your ad and opted in, right? So create audience. Actually, did you paste in, did you paste in the link? No, not yet. Okay, go hit, hit, yeah, go ahead and um, check the box to the, click on um, edit to the middle bottom. Right yeah, there. right there. You can edit right there. Yeah. So, okay. Scroll down now, paste in that link. If you need to go back to, back to the top, get the link to your thank you page. Okay, perfect. So when you create, when you create audiences, you only need the domain. You don't need www.http, just exactly how you did right there. Okay. So now here's the deal, man. That's why there's a, there's a, there's a few steps we need to do before we can start running ads, man. And this is, this is the back end that agents don't even focus on at all at all, but this is what's going to allow you to keep your money because this is where your money's at. It's all about audiences. Okay. It's all about audiences. As we move forward and start running ads, it's all about audiences. People who have watched X amount of a video or people who have clicked. Okay. People that have clicked went to a page. So basically we use that to retarget. Okay, got yes, you, got yes. you. Okay. But, but your seller guide leads, the reason why that audience is so important because that's an audience that you will not be retargeting. That'll be an audience that you'll want to exclude. So as you start to as you start to get people on that audience, there's no one in that audience now, but as you start to run ads, as you start to capture leads, as people start to land on your thank you page, that's so important to be able to segment those people, right? So now they're in an audience, but also on the back end through my metrics, I can now track my cost per lead. Facebook's going to let me know my budget. They're going to let me know what I'm spending. They're going to let me know my cost per lead. They're going to let me know how many leads came in. Not, not only are those leads going to be, be known here, but, but, but to, be, to have a more accurate reading of it, the leads are also in Kartra, obviously. So as leads come into your funnel, they land on your Kartra list. So yeah, I can track how many leads came in there, but then also Facebook is going to track how many people landed there as well. So I'm able to track my lead count. I'm able to track my cost per lead when, when, when I have it segmented. But also most importantly, as I start to capture leads and people land there, that's an audience, maybe by ad number three, that's an audience that you'll always want to exclude. Okay. So as you run ads for the rest of your life, Instagram, Facebook, as you run ads in this metaverse, you know what I mean? So you'll always want to exclude that audience. Because if someone or if someone down the street that you're targeting already downloaded your seller guide a month ago, why do they keep seeing your ads? Yeah, so how we right? exclude them then? As you set, set the ad up, you'll be able to exclude. So now look, you have, a, you have a list there. You have an audience there. Click on the three lines to the left. As you go in and set up your ad, that's where you'll exclude it, which we'll get to. Once we run the ad, I'll show you how to exclude that, that audience. Well, awesome. But, but that, that, that's a ton for right now. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. That's what, excited, we're, what yeah. we want to do now is, is focus on, on that thank you video. Focus on that thank you video. And, and, and that's it. That's it. Because you already got the domain. Focus on the thank you video and then schedule our next call. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm going to going to work on the video today and I'm going to send it over. Sounds two, good. My version, friend. you pick one oh, up. Oh, 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 no, no, no. It's actually two, two assignments. Number one, the video. And then number two, your seller guide. So check that Facebook message. Watch that video later. Okay. That's, okay. that's for the seller guide. Seller, seller guard I need to uh, work on. Okay, I will try to customize it today. Work See on that. Those are the two things. Guide. Video and, and, and seller guide customized. That's it. Seller guide customized. Okay, so watch I'll, the Facebook I'll, message video that I sent you regarding that. Facebook message. Regarding uh, customizing your seller guide. Yeah. All right. Got all right, it. I appreciate it. Right, Thank excited you, sir. I appreciate it. It's just all excited, sir. It's a good, good, great information. Check my Karcher emails as well. You're going to start to receive Karcher emails from me. So check those emails, watch those videos. That's going to teach you all about Karcher, keeping it simple on this whole real estate funnel side of it all and, and, and really having fun with it. So, all right. Um, I'm, I'm super charged, man. Let's dominate right, this market. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.